now. If you're not too exhausted, you can re-enter the bridge and rescue him. All right, back to work, initiate. She's very bossy. <laughs> but generally throughout, um, throughout the standard campaign, I'll be doing it all myself. Whenever it gets to playing the multiplayer co-op missions, I'll, uh, I'll get a couple of people in. See if we can get a big brotherhood going. Because I know you can build up your brotherhood. Pretty large. Pretty big brotherhood you can make. Uh, see if we can smash it. Uh, so we've got a few upgrades, which is good. we got to get those upgrades. So we're going to the skills. And we're going to go for double assassination as our next one. I'm not too worried about health. Uh, my gamer tag is actually the Twitch ID I use. Uh, so XX Merzo XX. I also need to rebuy Xbox Live Gold. I just remembered that. <laughs> I haven't really bought it in a long time because I had it, but my wee brother has an account on this as well on my Xbox. So he, whenever we got uh, a subscription, I thought that we both got one when really he got one and I didn't. So I've got to go and get one later on. But it shouldn't be too long before I get one. Next thing I'm going to go for. I think is going to be a little bit of health we'll by thick skin number one. I mean, we don't really need health, but it's always good to have. Should be okay beside health. Uh, but I've already died a few times. As you guys can see, anytime you want to check the deaths, if you come on at some stage, just uh, exclamation mark deaths. Stick it up on chat there, just so you know. Um, and if Nightbot's working, there we go. Five deaths so far. <laughs> Which isn't good, but, you know, nothing I can really do is just stupid things happen and I die. It's just, it's always going to happen. Great, I won't be uh, inviting anyone into party at the minute. Uh, I'll just be playing solo for now. I'm afraid. But maybe later on. Maybe later on. I'll let you know. Yeah, I won't be joining any today. Uh, if I'm doing co-op, I'm in the mid for co-op, then I'll be inviting people to party. More than likely be near to the end of the game. So, uh, letting you know that. Sorry. But you, uh, you will more than likely if you're tuned and you're not, the, you're not the, near the end of the game you're about, then be sure to get you guys in, get you guys on stream, talking, chatting away, and Get uh, get missions done. I generally do have group heal on as well for and drop a group heal. That's what I used to always use. So yeah, for now, no, um, I'll be just through the main campaign. Full sync as I go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you to see we've got a good few people in stream. Hi, is everybody? How y'all doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Everything all right, my friend. So got a few followers today. Thank you guys so much. And I've also passed a uh, hundred views. A hundred view count has been passed, <laughs> which is awesome. I'm really happy about this, guys. Thank you guys all so much. Again, I'll probably say a lot. They get really fed up of it, <laughs> but you know, I'm one of those people who thank people a lot. <laughs> Um, and Godzark, aka Ekat, how you doing, bro? 
Welcome back. We've been blasting through just on a one of the good missions there, where you have to assassinate Sever. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. I can find him. Siver met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have the proper tools. So the concealed blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand then. <laughs> the phantom blade. I love this Most weapon. Little update from the traditional assassin's blade. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close to your enemies. Now then. Assassin. This council charges you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi des Tudes. Learn his secrets and bring him peace. Okay. No worries. Find the blade's awesome. If you guys haven't seen it before, <coughs> I'll be yeah, I'll give it a bit of a showcase. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> make can can make your enemies attack all it's sort of like the berserk darts from uh what was it? Black Flag. Yeah. That's good Black Flag. One of my other all time favourite Assassin's Creeds. I might actually end up streaming that as well if I'm done with this. Black Flag is just awesome. Like the naval battles and everything. I loved it. Oh, thanks so much for the host, dude. Appreciate that. So kind of you, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can either use normal. Um, it sort of shoots out like little darts. So you can have a normal dart, which just kills. Or the berserk darts. There they are here. Phantom blade. Normal dart. And just uh, berserk darts. And well, we're just going to stick with the gun for now. Okay. Oh no. Hello. Wow. <laughs> that, guy, that guy did not seem happy to see me. <laughs> Uh, Arno, hello. It's like, <laughs> you could have said it a bit more cheerfully. He just walked up like, hey, how's it going? But no, it's, uh, hello. Guy must have his coffee this morning. Got a, got a follower here. Uh, I will more than likely pronounce most of the names wrong, <laughs> just just so you guys know. But um, Jacquan, Jacquan Dun. Uh, thank you for the follow. I'm pretty sure you're going for something like uh, Dynasty Warriors. This is like Jaho Dun, uh, but Jacquan Dun. Uh, yeah. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but thank you very much for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't think I need a mod just yet. I mean, I know most of the Nightbot commands and if uh, most of the Twitch commands. I thought I shouldn't need a mod it yet, but uh, if I do, don't worry. I'll be sure to give you a shout. I know you've been a uh, streamer for quite a while, bro, so yeah, don't worry. Shouldn't need one at the minute. Eventually. Eventually, yeah, but not right now. But thanks. Thank you.
Okay, so right now I'm going to do a mission for the uh, cafe to try to increase my revenue a wee bit. Of course, the more revenue you have, the happier person you are. <laughs> Bookshelves and books added in the cafe. I suppose that's good. I have no idea. No worries, dude. Just saying, it's uh. Yeah, I have none at the minute. Meet my contact at Plastifa and save what you can. But you know, the more more of a regular people become, the more I might consider putting them up to up to mod. You know, it'd generally be friends or people I know and people who stream often enough. You know, who, of course, you gotta you gotta trust your mods. You know. At the minute, I've got no desire. And there's double kill. Our first use of double kill. Pretty awesome. We only just picked that up, so it's good to be able to showcase that straight away. But uh, a bit of dough, a bit of money. Saving those guys, which is awesome. As you go, increases, and the amount, uh, and then of course the reward you get increases. Uh, it's called crowd events. You'll see it as I go through. There'll be uh, things asking me to tackle people, asking me to kill people. And uh, the more I do that, the more money I get from when I do. And of course, the more I have to do um, to get them all. But if I see one in the past, I'll just quickly run over and kill. <laughs> Mature audience. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people have a bit of blood spill. I think I curse too much. I mean, <laughs> I curse as it is, but I don't curse that much, so I don't think I really. I mean, I might be knocking a couple of women over, and you know, you can look up their skirt if that gets you gets you going. But uh, <laughs> I think I'm okay. <laughs> okay for now. I run in some girls. Uh, Dress goes flying up. It's her fault, not mine. She shouldn't wear a dress. Was that? She should have just stuck on a pair of trousers, a pair of jeans, short shorts or something. You know, no, you guys probably all. Shorts. Girl, any girls who are watching will probably agree. Wearing a dress while someone's running at you is. Uh, <laughs> in case you go flying. I remember once there was an old uh, school play, I think it was our leaving school play. And I had to uh, actually dress up as one of the ugly stepsisters. I know it's embarrassing. <laughs> I feel like I can share that with you. Uh, and I had to put on this kind of like dress. Um, and underneath these uh, big like bloomers is like uh, granny pants underneath them <laughs> hilarious um, I have it pretty low at the minute because my internet's not amazing so you're more than likely going to get a few likes uh, and I do apologize for that but at the minute I don't have the equipment or the money to get the equipment I'm afraid and I'm sorry about there's not really a lot I can do with that at the minute. Don't worry, it will increase uh, and everything will be better over time. It just takes time to sort of get it. I thought I'd just tell that story since uh, <laughs> some of the flying and their dress goes up. In the, in the play where I had to like, fall back. I, I, I don't know, pretend to get slapped or something and I had to fall back and <laughs> my legs went in the air. Oh, it's hilarious. Good old memories. The guy who did it with me kind of... Uh, he was another gym. Completely bailed. Total ass. Left me all myself. Dressed as a woman. With a big dress. <laughs> Still haven't forgiven him. Every time I make a point to say it to him. <laughs> How much of a dick he was for abandoning. 